Hello everybody, my name is Tenelin, and we just got the announcement of the live letter number 84, which will be on November 1st, which means we're getting very close to the release of 7.1, and it's time to prep. Now, my guess based on past experiences is that the release date will be November 12th, as they usually do a second live letter for a patch about 10 days prior to the patch release. They have already stated it will be in mid-November, so it's either going to be on the 12th, or very unlikely, but it could be on the 9th. They will give us the release date during this live letter though, and I always like to prep for the earlier date, so I'm going to be aiming for November 12th. Before we get into the prep of what we're doing, let's talk about what we're getting in this patch. During this patch, we're going to see a lot of new content released, but I am going to be focusing this video primarily on just the crafting and gathering related content, and what I'm doing to prepare myself to craft the new items and make some gil. Here's a quick rundown of everything that I'm looking forward to that is crafting and gathering related. First off, the Wakumeki Meki quests are getting a new quest for those that have completed all of the prior quest lines. If you haven't done these yet, I highly recommend them. They have been a lot of fun, they have some interesting little quests, and it's a good opportunity to get some free one-time scripts and levels if you haven't finished leveling all your crafters to 100. I'm assuming this is just going to be a conclusion quest, but there is a chance that we get a unique reward for it. As well, the job rule quest will be getting their group quest if you completed all of those too. We will have a new custom delivery, helping out Nico Wickwee, who is the Shalawani Railroad Engineer. We'll have new society quests with the Pelu Pelu, and I assume it's going to be the combat one, as that's typically the first one that we get, but it's something to keep on your radar as we don't know for certain yet, and we'll find out during the live letter. We're going to have new legendary folklore gatherables, which will release alongside new left side crafting and gathering craftable gear and tools, as well as a new orange script crafting material. And of course, we're going to have the Final Fantasy XI Crossover Alliance Raid Part 1, which is not necessarily crafting or gathering related, but will have a decent item level requirement, I'm assuming of 710, which may cause a slight bump in the current crafted combat gear price if people are looking to use their alt jobs. With how Final Fantasy XIV structures their patch cycle, we can say with pretty high confidence we know what we're going to be getting with each patch for the majority of simple things in the game especially when it comes to the gear cycle. With 7.1, we are expecting to see the new crafting and gathering left sides and tools, but no new combat gear. The new combat gear will come out in 7.2 with the release of the second tier of Savage Raids. There will also be no new folklore or recipe books added in 7.1, so if you haven't gotten the ones that were released in Dawn Trail's beginning of the expansion, be sure that you have unlocked those so you could be ready ahead of time. With all of that in mind, let's get into what I'm prepping and why. Keep in mind, all of this is going to be speculation based on the Endwalker 6.1 patch and what the new crafter and gatherer gear needed at that time. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at that. This is one of the pieces to break down the idea of what the recipes are going to require. Starting off, I'm going to be looking at the Lunar Adamantite Ingot, which is going to be the equivalent of the Dawn Trail's Aesthetic Tome materials. Now these materials currently only see use with the combat related gear as well as the potions, but in 7.1 will pivot to being used in the new crafting and gathering gear. This will cause an increase in demand and gives us an opportunity to either sell these raw tome materials as is or use them to craft the prerequisite materials we'll need for the new gear such as the black seed cotton cloth and the Prusaurus leather, among other things. Now, I'm going to personally be doing a bit of both. I'm going to hoard a little bit of the tome materials themselves and craft a little bit of the pre-made materials. That way I can take advantage of both of the markets. While I'm waiting for the patch, I have been spending my time crafting some of the high quality versions of these materials while grabbing more anytime I have capped tomes. I don't know if we're going to necessarily need everything to be high quality, most likely we won't, but while I'm waiting, I might as well go ahead and do so. In order to craft these items though, with the aesthetic tome mats, you do need the current legendary folklore materials, which I would highly recommend you are gathering right now before 7.1 comes out. This is because when 7.1 releases, there will be new items added to those existing nodes, and you'll want to gather those instead especially at the start of the patch. New items are always the easiest way to make some extra gill very quickly into a patch because there is no current supply. 
Having your timer set up with the current Dawn Trail Legendary nodes will allow you to prep ahead of time as they will be the same nodes that we currently have. You can check out my list in the description if you need an alarm set for them. Be sure to have your gathering gear materialed up and ready to go and have purchased the Legendary Folklore books for the Purple Gathering scripts if you're looking to grab those while the demand is up on release. Again, there will be no new Folklore books as the new items will be on the same nodes. These new legendary gatherables will be used in combination with the new orange crafting script material and the sun gilt aether sands that we currently have to create a new item that will be needed for the crafting and gathering gears. This gives us another opportunity to pre-craft a bunch of gathering collectibles to turn it on release to purchase this new orange script item. If the pattern of Dawn Trail's gear is the same as Endwalker's, all of the new gear that we can craft will use this script item for both the pre-crafted items, such as the Eblen Danburite of Endwalker, and it'll also be used as a raw material in crafting, meaning that demand for this item will be very high. I'm comparing this to the Immutable Solution that we had during Endwalker. Now during Endwalker, this Immutable Solution cost 125 of the highest tier scripts, so be sure to prep a lot of your orange script crafts ahead of time if you're looking to be able to buy these on release. I imagine these are probably going to sell for somewhere between 10 to 20,000 gil for the first couple days on release. As well, you can see from Endwalker, we had the Ophio Taurus leather, so I am prepping a bunch of the level 98 crafting materials that we have for Dawn Trail, such as the Thunderguard silk, the Gargantua leather, Rakasner ingots, and the Claro Walnut Lumber. I'm less worried about things like the Black Stars as they were primarily used for the right side gear, which we're not getting, but it wouldn't hurt to have a few of them ready to go just in case. And as I mentioned, you'll want to have some Aether Sands, especially the Sun Gilt, because you're going to need them for one of the pre-crafts, but all of the gear will also need the three Elemental Aether Sands, so I would just recommend stocking up on all four of them. Check out my Aether Sands gathering video if you aren't sure how to get those, but I would aim to have a good chunk of those on hand. And obviously you're going to have to need crystals ready to go, but don't forget to have your clusters stocked up as these are level 100 crafts. I would spend some time having your retainers restock you over the next few weeks to make sure you aren't forced to buy them when the price goes up on 7.1's release. And finally, don't forget to have your crafting and gathering materia stocked up. Be sure to check out my guide on how to get gathering materia easier and check out my video for crafting scripts, which are the best way to farm those crafter materials. Whether you plan on using it for yourself or to take advantage of selling it to new pentamelders, this will be a good time to have it stocked up. The price will probably see a small spike and you don't want to be stuck having to buy some if you're using them for yourself, or you could take advantage of selling to those who are getting the new gear. Now that we've covered all of that, let's talk about my recommendations. This crafting and gathering gear will be the gear that we're going to be using in 7.2 for crafting the new combat gear that gets released, so it is a good idea to get yourself a set and have it fully pentamelded, but there is absolutely no rush to do it as we don't expect 7.2 to release until April of next year. Take your time and don't break your bank getting this gear set up. I find that these in-between savage patches aren't as profitable, but they are definitely a great opportunity to make a bit of gill if you are smart. If you're more interested in making profit during this patch than you are gearing yourself with the shiny new items, I would spend the majority of the first few weeks providing all of the materials to others. You can take a quick look to see if the gear is selling well, but it will most likely not be as high of a price and move as fast as the gear that was selling in 7.0. During these in-between combat patches, I find that selling raw materials is much more profitable. What do I mean by that though? I would sell the tome mats either the raw tome mats themselves or the high quality crafted up materials that you'll use from the tier 1 legendary folklores that we currently have. I would sell Aether Sands. Definitely the highest priced item will be the new orange crafting script material that we're going to be getting because orange crafter scripts are just not a thing that a lot of people like to get. And don't forget, both the new and old legendary folklore mats will be great opportunities to make some gil. With these nodes now having two gatherables on them, and being limited by time-gated spawns, it will create an increased demand for both of the items because you can only gather one of the other. If you're a crafter, I definitely would recommend on just getting all of your orange crafting scripts ready to go. Craft up a bunch of those collectibles ahead of time 
and just get a bunch of those materials ready to go to craft more because those materials will probably go up in price. If you're more of a gatherer, spend this time gathering all of the current legendary folklore materials and get ready to gather the new ones when 7.1 releases. For the new items, as soon as the patch does come out, start to list those as quickly as you can, but try not to flood the market too much because there will be some competition. For the current existing items that you can get before 7.1, I would start slowly listing them as you are trying to take advantage of people who are prepping ahead of time, as well as people who are speculating on the prices to rise. A lot of the time, the prices of items actually gets the highest right before a patch is released for pre-existing items and crashes once the patch is released because too many people flood the market. Keep that in mind when you're looking to sell some of the stuff. I like to slowly list ahead of time just a little bit as I go as the weeks build up to the patch and I will still hold some just in case the price does have an increase during the patch release but a lot of the times it will either just stay steady or fall down very quickly in that first week after the patch releases. You do have about three to four weeks until this patch does release so I would spend a lot of my time gathering the high quality tome crafted materials, the aether sands, getting crafting and gathering materia stocked up, and definitely getting the current legendary folklore mats. Depending if you are trying to prep for making the gear to sell or just making the gear for yourself or just looking to sell the raw materials, develop your own plan and have an idea of what you're trying to do before the patch does come out. Be sure to subscribe and check out my future videos as we get closer to the release or even after 7.1 to be able to keep current with the information in case something does change. Thank you all so much for watching, I hope this helps, and I hope you make a good chunk of guild during this patch release.